I did an interview last night, um, a live stream on YouTube with a very, very sound guy. It never, we, he and I hadn't really crossed paths before. Rowan Croft, he uses the name for his YouTube channel, generally uses the name Grand, Tur Grand Torino. Uh, he's one of those people who the mainstream say is far right. Now, before we started the video, the reason why the link to Michael McNamara's speech in the pretend oil over in the convention centre, it is a pretend oil, it should be back in Leinster House. The reason why he uh, why he fucked up the link is because he and I were chatting for an hour beforehand. He told me I couldn't smoke during the live stream. I can't smoke on his fucking channel, but I can smoke on mine. Anyway, uh, it was great to talk to him. I, uh, you know, I, according to, to him, I'm going to be going back on next Tuesday. So that's another treat to enjoy. I'm really looking forward to that one. Where it's going to be, I think there might be three of us on it. I don't know his plans for it. But I found him to be a very fair interviewer. I found him to listen. I found him to, he gave me plenty of time to speak. He didn't cut through me. He didn't, you know, he wasn't in any way. I, I thought he was very balanced. I thought he was very, very fair. Uh, he obviously has, he obviously has quite a good following on YouTube as well. So I'm glad to get in there. But it's interesting to read some of the messages that I've been getting from people, you know, and someone, some, some crazy cow sent me a message you know she said i've blocked you but i didn't because uh, i'd heard from somebody else that you were this and that you were that and you know she said that you supported fiona o'leary and all the rest of it she said so i blocked you but you really need to try and get out there a bit more to reach people like me and to her i'd say reach that because i set my own agenda now i'll give an interview to anyone but i'll talk very briefly about fiona petite o'leary Fiona and I disagree on certain things, but Fiona and I came into contact through our opposition to Scientology. I think she's still opposed to Scientology. I'm still opposed to Scientology. I think she's opposed to quack medicines. I'm opposed to quack medicines. Fiona gets a lot of abuse, and it's totally unacceptable. And I will never be party to any abuse against Fiona Petit O'Leary. I'll never support it. I'd always condemn it. She's a married woman. She has children. Please, you know, if you want to criticise her, I'll criticise her till the cows come home. She'll criticise me. That's fine. But we don't take it personal. She's never taken it personal against me. I will not do that to her. And I will not support, I will condemn anybody who does that, who harasses her, her husband, her children, who goes to her home, who, do who doxes her, all that kind of thing. No, not on not on. I've chosen to publicise my home. I've chosen to publicise my home address. That's my decision. Nobody else, you know, nobody else can be assumed to have done that. And for people to be personally attacking Fiona that way, to be harassing her that way, absolutely unacceptable. She should go to the guards about it. She should pursue it to the final, you know, to the final limit. Um, so the bitching started about Fiona O'Leary. I won't have any, I'm not party to that. You want to do that in any column or thread of mine, I'll block you and I'll pass it on to her. I'll pass it on to her because I won't tolerate that woman being harassed, nor would I tolerate it being done to anybody else, nor would I imagine with Gran Torino either. I don't think he's like that. Just the whole vibe I get of him. I found him to be dead fair. I found him to be dead balanced. We, you know, as I said, the video fucked up at the start because he and I were chatting shit for an hour beforehand. You know, he said no bad language and no smoking. This is my channel. I can fucking use bad language. No cunt's going to tell me to stop using bad language and I'll smoke if I want to as well. This is my YouTube here. I'll set the agenda here. He sets his own agenda. It gets on to the, the bigger picture here. I will set my own agenda. I've always set my own agenda. I'm not going to have Scobies messaging me now at this stage saying, past the split. Oh, oh, fucking good shit, mate. That's oh, that's better than the shit that we had at Glastonbury last year before the fucking before the pigs came and fucking threw us out of fucking 
fucking copper nonsense. F- fucked us out of glass. I'm not having any sh- sh- talk with those kind of people. You can fuck off off my thread. I don't want to be associated with you. I've been paddling my own canoe for long enough now not to have to kind of get... I'm, you know, I'm not looking for fucking likes on social media. It's too serious for that. It's too serious for that. I'm not looking for fucking likes on social media. Fuck off. I don't want you around. To get back to Fiona, as I said, you know... She and I have had many, many differences. I think she didn't like my position regarding Greta Thunberg. That's okay, Fiona, I live with that. We can agree to disagree on Greta Thunberg. I mean, I have my very, you know, (laughs) I have very strong opinions about Greta Thunberg and I've expressed them. Fiona is entitled to disagree with that. She's entitled to dislike that. And she's entitled also to have peace of mind that I'm not going to harass her for that. And that nobody else is going to harass her for anything that she said. Fiona has spoken out very... Over many years, Fiona has spoken out about something that's a pet hate of mine, which is quack medicine. She's absolutely right. Totally support her. Totally support her on quack medicine. Uh, so, in a way, it's unfortunate that Fiona and I disagreed on the Greta Thunberg thing, because she's right about a lot. She's right about Scientology, and she's right about quack medicines, you know. But then I start seeing, you know pejorative posts about Fiona coming up on my social media or coming up on YouTube that not having it guys don't do that leave her alone you know um, we can agree to disagree anybody wants to come out and harass me in my house you'll see the reception you get you know uh, okay I have chosen to, to publicise my home address. the funny thing is I doxed myself years ago Because the reality is, if people want to find your home address, they fucking will. There's no point in being paranoid about it. I doxxed myself years ago. I gave out my public phone number. I gave out my address. You know, contact me there if you want to. Actually, that's how Rowan Croft contacted me. He contacted me on my public phone number and he invited me to come on to be interviewed. So there's benefits to that. There's benefits to having a public phone number. But another person may choose not to do that. That's their right to do that. Um... I will set my own agenda. I'm not going to have people now at this stage. I mean, there was a lo- very, very positive response to the Gran Torino uh, interview last night. And I'm very... People do appreciate praise. Of course they do. You know, uh, Fiona appreciates praise. I appreciate praise. We all appreciate praise. You know, we appreciate it when people recognise and we're doing our best to push important issues. And I'm very grateful to Gran Torino for interviewing me last night. I'm very grateful to him for interviewing me to the very high standard that he did he from what i've seen you know he does his best to be balanced and i told him my own opinions about vaccination i told him my own opinions about um alternative medicine i told him my own opinions about these things this is when we were talking beforehand and it didn't freak him out so he's very tolerant from what i can see my initial impression of him is that he's very tolerant that's cool by me we will agree to disagree in these kind of things but i'll talk to the cows come home anyway I'll give anyone an interview. Um, But if these people think that I'm just coming on to get Facebook likes or, you know, Twitter likes or that kind of thing, fuck off. Um, You know, I'll block you. This one saying to me, you know, really, you should be doing this and you don't have, you know, uh, I'm going to try and follow you a bit more. Follow that. 